Welcome to Tiki Talk. How you go doing guys? It is a full sturgeon ripe berry moon. A uh, full sturgeon ripe berry moon is a moon that sometime between July 23rd and August 22nd. And it happens to fall on today. So I don't know how you guys slept, but uh, we didn't sleep very good last night, nor did anybody I know. I didn't even know it was a full moon. I was reminded of this. I should make a note of it in my calendar, in my daily planner that hasn't really had anything in it <laughs> for like five months. Anyway, so the ripe berry moon, obviously, it's when you pick the berries, the ripe and it's mostly towards raspberries and there's a stone for it also which is the garnet and it's all about it's all about find, helping each other releasing control trying not to do everything you know, your own way and it's it's a, it's trying to find the peace helping others and the garnet is the stone for the month, which is red, which is for the heart, which means that all your answers will be found if you look within, in your heart. So that's what that's happened. It's very, very strong energy. There's a lot of things happening according to the Farmer's Almanac in the next month. And I thought it would be fun to pick a goddess card for the next month for everybody. Some of you know and some of you don't know that I'm an intuitive. I also have the capability sometimes to get messages from my, I have a spirit guide. I also um, have a lot of, of my people on the other side and I get messages from them. And uh, my mom talks to me a lot, especially right before I wake up in the morning. I'll get a little message for her on something that I need to work on or an idea. My dad, my brother, both of my brothers, they're all communicating. I have a lot of people on the other side. And my spirit guide, I, I, where I was doing a lot of spiritual hikes um, a couple years ago and I did a meditation and my spirit guide came to me and told me all about herself. She's a, actually an ancient ancestor of mine from way, way, way back. And she said she was gonna help take me to the next level, which is really cool. And I learned all about the bird energy and then I found someone to teach me about the tree energy Many years ago, probably is it seven years ago, I actually was honored to be in touch with a real, uh, or make friends actually with a real Indian medicine man, Russell Four Eagles. And in the Tiki Hut here, we had, he did healings. And I invited all my friends and family to come and he did healings for everybody. Uh, and he would give him advice, like, you know, some kind of herb to get. Um, one of the things that he was saying to get your pH balance back is to have a uh, glass of water with a little bit of baking soda in it and to sip on that. And that establishes, that 
uh, establishes your pH balance in your system, which helps your body fight whatever is happening. So I'm passing that on to you. I'm no doctor, but I did play brain surgeon on TV one time. So it's always a good idea. Anyway, so uh, I'm not a psychic, but I do, I have been given the gift of intuition and empathy and I can sometimes deliver messages uh, to people and uh, I thought it'd be fun to pick a goddess card for the next month for everybody. So here we go. actually going to get more than one. Yeah. Here we go. Okay, so the first one is May, Cycles and Rhythms, which is means to honor your body and what it's going through. So if you're feeling stressed out, give yourself permission to do some self-care and if you're really energetic then honor that and if you're hungry eat if you're thirsty drink you know these are it seems very obvious but I know for me sometimes I need the goddess Maeve to remind me to drink my lemon water Right. Uh, here's another one. It's Mary Magdalene, and she represents uncondi unconditional love. Love yourself, others, and every situation, no matter what the outward appearance may be. Now that's about as holy as you can get, I think, Mary Magdalene. Um, yeah, it's all about self-love. That's kind of the messages. Okay, so these are for anyone that is having a rough time. Expect a miracle, Mother Mary. Another, we're getting very biblical. Mary Magdalene and Mother Mary. Expect a miracle. Have faith that your prayers have been heard and are being answered. Have faith that your prayers are being heard and you'll have an answer. I love that. So that's our uh, update on the full sturgeon ripe berry moon. It's funny how some people get really scared about like, ooh, someone who reads cards or this or that. And it's like, it's really the same thing as, you know, farmer's almanac, listening to nature. It's all connected. There's nothing to be afraid of. Everything's cool. Here's my moon cards. I actually have moon cards. And uh, the full moon card I pulled, of course, I did. And it's surrender to the divine. It's all saying the same thing. It's all cool. Projects. Are you guys doing projects? I'm not hearing any about any projects. We're co I feel like we're in a constant state of projects. Um, I... Whenever I come home and I see these on the table, you know what these are? That's right, they're paint samples. So we did two walls, we did three walls, and by that I mean Rudy, uh, three doors. And now when we look in to the kitchen, it's like this yellowish color doesn't go with the edge of dark color, which is cool. It actually reads slate gray most, I mean, slate blue to me most of the time. So, kitchen's next. That's gonna be happening. That's our other project. Oh, wait, these fell on my cards. Um, and the third update is about my cleanse, eight days. 
So over the weekend, day six and seven, I, not I noticed that when I do something like this, uh, choose fast or cleanse, which I, I don't do a lot, maybe once or twice a year, but there's always some vision quest that happens. For example, the first time I did it years ago, I just started suddenly uh, making these these uh, purple bags. I, I didn't know what I was going to put in them, but I started making these purple bags by hand and giving them, I made a few of them and giving them away. I, these are my other cards. And, uh, but I love it because it's a really nice bag and this was years ago. So that was my vision quest and I tend to do do that. I'll get onto something and then I just keep going for two days. So my vision quest this weekend was that um, I made 10 loaves of bread. I made 10 loaves of bread. Yeah. But my neighbor, I asked my neighbor if he had any lemons because I ran out of lemons for my and he gave me a giant gar uh, grocery bag full of lemons. And so as a thank you, I gave him some. And then I gave my neighbor, Cheryl, some. And she has hens that are laying eggs. So I got fresh eggs. It's all working. It's all cool. I can't eat the eggs yet because I'm still on the cleanse. But they're there when I can. Anyway, 10 loaves. Yes, I made four loaves of round and six baguettes. And I didn't eat one of them, so I win the award. Well, it doesn't really get any more um, Californian than this. I'm burning sage. I did. Uh, I'm doing a cleanse, master cleanse, and I just gave you a card reading. So, there you go. I'm saging. There you go. Hope you have a great night, and uh, can't wait to see the comments on this one. All right, talk to you later. Bye. <laughs>